Cinematic motion graphics don't come from luck, they come from technique. And today I'm revealing the most dynamic texturing method that can completely transform your work right here in After Effects. So let's jump in. All right, this is the most dynamic texturing technique as you can keep your graphics simple with just fine details or you can go all out and create something really grungy with some style. And as you can see, this can be applied to anything except for my hairstyle. <laughs> so first, we need to build out our texture map and the best place to get free textures is over at Texture Lab and I just can't stress enough how good these are. You can find pretty much from half tones to grunge to paper and so much more. But all here in After Effects, we want to place a main dominant texture image that will carry the bulk of your scene. Additionally, we can combine multiple textures together to create something unique. For example, I want these half tones added into our final result. And since this is a lighter image, we can set the blend mode to multiply and no problem. This provides those very small, nice fabric S dots. For more details, I'll throw in another paper texture. And since I only want these creases here, we can use the invert effect to make the paper dark and then use the hard light mode. Then adjust the blend percent until you have your noticeable details, or in my case, these creases. And then when you're all done with your texture, pre-compose everything. And now you've added the ingredients for your texture map. But before applying this texture to our graphics, I highly suggest pre-composing your graphics together if you have multiple layers and just call it media. Now you can duplicate your texture composition and set the track mat of your media to your bottom duplicate texture and invert the mat by clicking the box here. Now you'll probably start to lose your graphic and maybe your girlfriend too, <laughs> but this can be fixed with the invert effect and the curves effect. With the curves, you can adjust the RGB curve like so to pull out those fine texture details as much as possible. And that's pretty much it for this amazing first technique that allows you to use your textures as your background as well. Plus, you can really see those half tones and that extra paper cut that we added as well. Now, what's even cooler than a no school snow day <laughs> is that we can pull even more details into these graphics by throwing in the turbulent displace effect. Set the size down to the lowest amount, then max out the complexity at 10. Now we can alt click the stopwatch for evolution and use something like time asterisk 800 to animate this. Another cool effect to try is displacement map as you can set the map layer to your bottom texture and select effects and mask. The displacement values are kind of up to you, but I like to use something subtle like 10. Now this will affect all of our graphics. So to dial this in on only say a specific place like this title here, we can create a mask and then set the effects composition options to that mask so that it only affects the area that you've isolated. But overall, this is a very flexible technique and let's continue to build out more texturing techniques so you can become unstoppable. But of course, ensure that you are unstoppable with our free template pack, seamless and trendy transitions and powerful motion graphics that you can customize in no time. All right here in our Motion Duck extension, you can add thousands of templates and presets directly into your project and suit them to fit your vision in seconds. So get to producing legendary work with these countless assets linked below. If you do pick up anything, you will be supporting this channel. So thank you very much. All right, let's start to really tear it up with this additional texture technique like this texture pattern animation. To do this, place down another texture image that has some grit to it. Then split the layer several times to create maybe six, two to three frame long layers like this. Then scale and rotate each copy to create a random variation. Now pre-compose this chopped up texture with the adjust composition duration checked and then right click and go to enable time remapping. From here, we can all click the stopwatch and use the loop out expression. And if you get this extra frame glitch, go into the comp and place that last layer on the bottom to fix this. And if the animation is too fast or too slow, you can move the right keyframe over by a touch. And of course, set this layer to screen. Now to fix the exposure, we can use the curse effect as before to darken this way down. And what's cool is that we can duplicate this texture and set its blend mode to multiply and then use the invert effect to bring out the details on top of our graphics and dial it all in with the curves again. Beautiful, just another great texture trick. If you wanna apply some dust artifacts, go ahead and create a solid layer and apply the fractal noise effect. All you need to do here is increase the contrast and brightness, and then with the evolution, we can use the time asterisk 500 expression to animate the grain. Now we can go ahead and set the blend mode to multiply, which will only show the dust fragments on top of brighter graphics. 
So we can duplicate this layer and then set the blend mode to screen. And again, use the invert effect to make the dust noticeable over dark areas as well, really coming together. Now for some finishing touches, let's apply the noise effect to an adjustment layer and choose something between 12 to 24%. We can also add in the brightness and contrast effect and throw in the wiggle 2 comma 20 expression to add a flicker. Finally, I really like the posterized time effect when you set it to half of your comp's frame rate, which really gives you this stop motion feel and makes your motion kind of unsmooth. Additionally, if you would like some camera shake, try using the motion tile effect and use the wiggle 0.5 comma 30 expression with mirror edges enabled. And overall, this is just a handful of relatable creative effects to help you with your texturing and motion graphic feel. And most importantly, because we created a non-destructive workflow, you can easily place other media and graphics into your placeholder composition, and this texture will be applied to it all. So feel free to use a handful of these concepts or all of them together.